What would you do if you were face to face with the devil and a legion of demons? Would you feel fear or would you try to fight with your own strength? If you don't know the answer to this question, in today's video, I will prepare you to face any spiritual attack using Bible verses that demons tremble in fear and don't want you to know. There is no demon that can stand after you declare these verses with your mouth. If you want to know what these verses are, I invite you to watch this video until the end. But before we begin, I want to ask you to subscribe to my channel and activate the notification bell to receive updates on new videos. By doing so, you will help our ministry reach more people. It is also important to share this video on WhatsApp, as it can save lives, as many people may need help, and you will be used by God in their lives. Amen. So let's get started. In the Christian community, it is very rare to hear about the devil and what we need to do to prevent him from harming our lives. The truth is, not everyone is prepared to hear about the spiritual world, as many are afraid and prefer to ignore this subject. That's why I asked you how you would react if you were face to face with Satan. The first thing we need to do is to know our greatest adversary, so we can act and fight with wisdom. After all, no one enters a battle unprepared without knowing what they will encounter on the other side as they would easily be defeated. Another thing you need to know is that demons are not as powerful as many people believe, and the truth for this statement is found in 1 John 4. 4. See what is written there. You, dear children, are from God and have overcome them, because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Look, brothers and sisters, what we have inside of us is much more powerful and strong than the devil and his legion of demons. And what do we have inside of us? The Holy Spirit of God. If we have already surrendered our lives to Jesus, but that doesn't mean we can stop being vigilant. Demons can indeed cause great trouble in people's lives, but to our relief, they are not invincible. In other words, they can be defeated, and we have the authority to confront them. That's why it's so important to know the authority that God has given us. These evil beings operate in the spiritual realm and wait for moments of weakness to enter our lives. But there is another verse that brings great power to us, and the devil doesn't want you to discover it. See what is written in James 4. Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Look how interesting. Just by basing yourself on this verse, you already have the key to resist the devil and make him flee far away. The first step is to submit to God. This means that we must set aside our own strength, our own intelligence, and only do the will of the Lord. This is a crucial step to protect yourself from the devil's traps. And maybe you're wondering, but pastor, how do I resist the devil? The first thing is to seek obedience to God. If you feel that your life is being attacked spiritually and everything seems to be going wrong, it's necessary for you to reflect and analyze if you're seeking the Lord, praying and meditating on his word. You see, Satan doesn't want you to seek the Lord. And that's why he will throw traps and distractions at you to make you lose focus. Because that's the only way he can continue to act in your life. And when we distance ourselves from the presence of the Lord, we open the door for the enemy to start working. And this happens because we listen to our sinful desires. Brothers and sisters, there is a rebellion in our flesh that makes us desire worldly pleasures more than spiritual things. And because of these distractions, we feel lazy to pray, to read the Bible, and even to go to church. However, the truth is that we need to nourish our spirit much more than our flesh. Look at the warning that the Apostle Paul gave us. Those who live according to the flesh have their minds set on what the flesh desires, but those who live in accordance with the spirit have their minds set on what the spirit desires. The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. See how important it is not to listen to the desires of our flesh, for by doing so, we are giving place to the enemy. We cannot obey God only in certain areas of our lives. God desires our total obedience, which means we need to constantly seek him, thus showing the devil that we are dependent on the Lord. We must understand that our existence is not the result of our own efforts, but rather God's permission. You slept last night and woke up this morning not by your own will, but because God allowed it. And many people went to sleep last night and did not wake up today. Why? Because we have no control over what will happen, and therefore, 
we must rely on the Lord. So, brothers and sisters, the authority that God grants us over the evil one comes only from a life of communion with him. And that is exactly what the enemy wants us to lose. The Bible tells us that the devil deceived Eve to make her eat the forbidden fruit because he wanted her to stray away from communion with God and thus lose all authority. Likewise, he does not want you to know the power that resides within you. There are many people who are already with God, but the enemy blinds their understanding, and there are others who do not have a life of communion with God, and as a result, they are easily manipulated and suffer great consequences because of it. There is a very interesting story in the Bible that proves that the devil and his demons do not want you to have knowledge of the power of obedience to God. In the book of Acts, we see that the Apostle Paul was performing great miracles, and a certain group of people wanted to do the same. However, Paul was under obedience to God, and he had the power and authority to cast out demons. But this group of people ignored the fact that obedience to God is the key to resisting evil. Look at what happened to those who were doing that. Seven sons of Sceva, a Jewish chief priest, were doing this. One day the evil spirit answered them, Jesus I know, and Paul I know about, but who are you? Then the man who had the evil spirit jumped on them and overpowered them all. He gave them such a beating that they ran out of the house naked and bleeding. Therefore those people tried to cast out the demons without having any authority to do so, and the evil spirit himself spoke to them, saying that he knew Jesus and Paul because they were under obedience to God. Due to their lack of obedience, that group faced great problems when they came face to face with evil. They suffered, had their clothes torn off, and fled from there naked and wounded. Brothers and sisters, they entered into a spiritual battle without knowledge, without faith, without communion with God, heading towards defeat. We need to know our enemy because in various moments we will have to make a decision to use God's authority or to cower and allow him to act in our lives. That is why I decided to record this video so that you may memorize this verse from James 4. 7. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the secret lies in obedience. Jesus himself said that when we obey his word, he remains in us and answers our prayers. We must understand that we belong to the Lord, and he watches over us. We cannot be friends with the world. Amen. We must live in obedience. To conclude this video, I want to share a psalm that you should also keep in your heart and declare whenever you feel afraid of the enemy and face spiritual attacks in your life, okay? See what is written. Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. I call out to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear though tens of thousands assail me on every side. Hallelujah, my brother. May you also make this psalm your prayer. Believe that God is with you, that he protects you, and that he is the one who grants you deliverance. And start seeking the presence of the Lord from this very day. Amen. Sending you a big hug.